Hey everyone, this is Trixie Lee. <clears throat> hey everyone, this is Trix LA Moon, and today we're gonna talk about healing. This is my time. I think it's a minute. I have not been mentally okay for a cool minute and not like a cool minute but it's been a process of like noticing and understanding way and uh, relationship status let's go first things first I rest in peace uh, Alex MGP it's been a year currently now I seen a post. He helped me create mm, the endings of my first channel, but he deleted the videos. And I'm just tired of petty people, honestly, because that shows who you are as a person. But anyways, he did give me cool ideas, and I did a collab with this one girl. Her name was me and her. We call each other Little Souls. And I was about to post everything until she started acting weird. And I printed all of my pictures out. These are all from 2006, 17. And look at how cool these are. They're 25 or 300 for out of my journey. And a lot of people have been on this journey since 2016. Have known me for a cool minute. Um, we have some exclusive ones like this one. And I was wearing the suit that didn't really fit me. So, kind of basically looks like I'm naked, but I'm not. So, just wanted to clear that out. Um, but yeah. I want to do personal photo shoots as ever. If anyone is interested, like seriously interested. Um, I will charge 150 and up for a personal photo shoot and it's all business and art so today is Wednesday I'm gonna go out later and I feel it's time to give my love a rest of a lot of drama my uncle passed away um, five, four years now. My mind's just been everywhere. Like, his death changed everything, too. So, I repeat to my uncle. He would always hand me my first beer. Um, but now, uh, ironically, I don't like drinking, especially now. I see a lot of people that are close to me that they abuse alcohol. And maybe one or two drink is fine. Um, it's really sad to see like people that you love like just not care about their mental health. How you look, it's about what's in your heart, what you want in life. And life is hard for for like everyone. I'm not gonna lie because I've gone through like a lot of things. But there's a moment where you're just like. Do I want to live like this forever or do I want, you know, the best or more for me? And part of feeling is also understanding and knowing that you're wrong. There wasn't a lot of reassurance. And this channel is about the truth. And it sucks because there's a lot of unhealthy stuff that happened, happened, so I don't want to talk about it, but I do want to say that it's been toxic and there has been, like, some abusiveness. Before that, there was a lot of, like, verbally abuse, 
and just like a lot of things are fucked up in this world but there goes a minute because I don't want to talk about it. um I never made the video of talking about how I got moved with my current relationship and it was because I met my girlfriend and her sister at the same time time passed by and like obviously I was going through some stuff and then I got with my girlfriend and then my girlfriend asked her like is it okay for me and her today because whatever me and her me and her sister were like had I guess basically hanged out first and it's just got to the point where it was just like okay I'm back um I don't know what the heck happened to my ear when someone says they're sorry because they actually know they, they did something wrong versus someone who continuously is doing something to hurt you and I think that's one of those things as well along to like I notice there's also people that they don't want you to be happy and they send you their bad energy they're, or they're not used to like a relationship or seeing you in a relationship so those are my thoughts about it a relationship is well it's between two people and two people only and the people that care or care about you should be happy for you and now in my healing journey i think that I'm not think I'm focusing on my business and how I could grow. Other than that, um, I've been through a lot uh, as in uh, I went through a spiritual awakening. And when you, before, um, I used to get like super depressed and like I kind of would wake up and not want to do anything. And now that I worked on myself, I did, I, the way that you could do all that is getting down to what is bothering you, what are you, what are you trying to bottle up, what are you trying to suppress, and work on it. How do you work on that? Write it down. Art. Work out. Let go of that stress because whatever stopping you is going to affect everything around you, believe it or not. And what I, my motto is, I could only control, I could only control myself, my actions, what I do, and I can't control anybody's houses. Um, I think it's also pretty, it's clear, it should be clear what you want versus, um, just exploding and just saying random things and I feel society is crazy nowadays because they expect you to oh we're in a relationship so you're, so you're just gonna take everything that I'm gonna everything that I all my all my all my problems like oh you're just gonna take it because you love me and it's it's not about that when you love someone you are gonna be there to them go back and then sometimes it's crazy because like, it's, it's not going to be one-sided or only one time. It's going to be different. Um, it's going to be on both sides. And not it is one day, it might not be 100. Maybe one day I'll be at 1%, 10%. And it's important for your partner or the partner that loves you to be there for you. To back up and to be like, you know, it's okay. I got you shoddy, whatever, you know. And... That's what I look into in a relationship. That's what I look into in a relationship. Like, who is this person that's going to be next to me? Like, is it just going to be, like, whenever they want? Oh, yeah. Or is it going to be, like, no, I don't, talk, I don't got time for you. I'll talk to you the next day. Relationships, that they're not serious. They're not accountable for their own actions. And it's okay to be in love, but where's, like, accountability? And also, just, just okay to move. It's okay working up. No relationship is is easy no relationship is a certain way the point is to move on from things and know i love this person for what they are their their 
flaws, imperfections, and that's what I wanted to get to. We don't have to be in a relationship. We we have to focus on ourselves, and also like if you do want to be in a relationship, don't expect like the other person to to do everything for you or not. Uh, it's not even that. When you really love someone, you love them, and it's not gonna matter. You know, when you really love someone, you love them like generally. You're gonna do what it takes to be with them, and that's what I wanted to say on to this channel and healing and take care of yourself, love yourself. My relationship status right now is uh, disappointed, and at this point. Um, I'm just tired of being the bigger person and being the one that's always gonna have to be understanding when on the other hand I'm just being disrespected you know and no one's perfect but it's time to move on whether it is it is what it is and uh, we are donuts so there's something that you have to say but just say it Personally, and that's, that's how I'm gonna end this video with positive good vibes. And you already know the relationship stuff. You guys, you know, you guys been through many relationships with me, healthy and healthy. Um, because I had to let go. So, if there's any other ways that you guys need help, let me know. And also, go to your resource, resources, get help. Don't be scared to ask for help. Don't be scared to not be okay and understand that your feelings are just temporary and they're not gonna last forever so be smart about your decisions and care about your mental health and um the future is now take care i love you guys god is great other people. Oh, the... Always, always with the people. What you looking at?